Warning, this video is intended for a mature audience. You understand? Viewer discretion is advised. Yay! <laughs> Alright, this is Billy Bob Tanley here, people, and this is a request from Cyborg Parrot, and it was uploaded by Channel Awesome, and the name of this video is The Super Mario Bros. Movie Nostalgia Critic. Okay, let's check it out. Yay. Proof animated films still don't Why get are worth. Hollywood Never mind. movies not making money. Is it possible people just don't like going to the theaters anymore? Is there I any don't go to theaters anymore. Will anybody go to theaters when you can just stream at home? Big budget yeah, movies everybody streams are at home. because there's no good films anymore. The problem is, Hollywood this doesn't make good movies, okay. so why would people go to the other movie. to see them? Shit. Yeah, it, it oh, made it really big. Of course those two movies bombed. They're cartoons. Mom, I heard about yeah. Elemental. The fuck? All right, here we go. Some nostalgia critic drugs. Doug Walt. Is this like a video game? Hey there. Rob, who's that? Okay, never mind. It's one too fast. Is this a new intro? Okay, it's shorter too, which is actually better. Hello. Why are you on the couch? Go back in your room. You don't have to. With the curse of video game oh, movies being played for so long, oh my God. Had to ask the Doom. question. Doom. Was this really so hard? They actually, you know, they tried with this one. All right. The Super Mario Brothers movie more than replaced its predecessor that came out 30 years earlier, and is the latest hit that's asking the Way question. Why fucking you better know, than that old like movie? People enjoyed originally. Does a sequel or adaptation have to sell? <sighs> The what the hell? Concerned with the bizarre casting choices and often Donkey Kong, Mario making it. The fact is, Super Mario Brothers. I don't like Mario being a cat, the though. Illumination could make. Peach's face Most looks a little off. Studios would try too hard but to it's still it a close enough. But multi-layered, important movie, and she is. it's not really what most people wanted. Donkey we Kong, wanted Mario, Mario. Brothers, bright, silly, simple. He's on the it's rainbow road, road Mario. Hard. It's a movie that tried hard enough. Nobody really wants yeah, yeah. a complex plot when it comes to these characters in this world. Yeah, they, 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 they'd add it all, you know, throw back to Luigi's like Mansion and shit. And you can feel the love for all of that in this flick. Whoa, it famously didn't get much praise from critics, but it's hard to say it really got trashed. It still technically has the majority of critics liking it, but what it's the hell? Who the hell is saying it's trash? Not that surprising. I mean, if it's you're a an fucking adult, you show, you know, for Brothers, nostalgia from people childhood. Very clear Nintendo commercial is gonna be. Shit. I mean, what they was expecting? We got into and found a lot of G.I. Joe Transformers and shit. That's a take on me song reference of no. All right. It still has problems like most Illumination films do, but everything has agree, problems. When they think of what a Super Mario Brothers movie would be like, this it is just Super Mario Bros. Yes. When you watch this, they added Strings, every fucking thing in it. And your worms were still trying to decide if we're sick of it or not. <sighs> well, let's take a closer All right. look. This is never going back. Fuck that movie. <laughs> All right. And this is already trying to show up Disney saying, "Hey, we can dick up our castles as much as you can." Is that what that was, Dicks? Shit, my own. One of the Big most enjoyable epic elements interest. for any fan is how well the music incorporates the Nintendo themes. I watched it Brian once. Brian Tyler is a crazily underappreciated composer. About a month or two he ago. A damn good job working in Koji Kondo's music while still keeping it cinematic. Jack Black Bowser. Does this thing work? Whoa, what the fuck? Why are you skipping ahead, man? <sighs> Bowser has Thank you for fucking not having piano. Jack Black sing Bowser's theme. Hey, you do me that Bobby did. Oh, come on. Damn, he needs to shave that fucking beard or dot. Guy's looking terrible. Oh, here the gates. There, Bowser talks. People have said Jack Black is probably the best casting choice in the movie. Do you? Probably, because Chris Pratt is Mario is still. And what is bad as we all thought, but he steals a star from this kingdom of penguins. Never mind. Both the threatening base yet comedic bounciness a villain like this needs. Penguins. I finally found it, and now no one can stop me. That's like the Chaos Emeralds, except for Star. Back to an '80s show with Bad King that technically should have keyed Luigi out too. Kevin missed opportunity. Wow. See that song from that one old show. 
From what? They kind of cleverly show why the Charles Martinet Mario voice would have worked for the entire movie while also. I guess it could get annoying the whole time. Is it too much? Too much? It's a perfect. <sighs> Mark, this time is voiced by Chris Pratt, which, like I said, had a lot of controversy behind it. He's At first. Fine. Yeah. Before Mario 64, I always saw Mario as having more of a deep, raspy Brooklyn voice. Kind of like what Bob Hoskins like in the cartoon had. The only thing miraculous I know is the uh, still eat. That no, terrible no, movie. But Pratt isn't distracting. Uh, I was okay with that at the time. Serviceable. It's not the voice I think of when I see the character, but I'm also not thinking of him in the recording studio. What voice do you want? Either. It's an okay in between. I am Shoot. so glad we spent our life savings on this commercial. So that's not too bad. Commercial. That is cinema. I wish sure Luigi's Also little... reviewed that Never commercial mind. and disliked it just as much. My mom called and she said, Oh boys, that's the best commercial I've ever seen. Charlie Day plays his brother, oh. Luigi. He's fine. That's I same here, Mario. the best thing in this movie, as I'm a big fan of his stuff. But like Pratt, he doesn't really add much. But he, he don't get much spotlight in this you, movie either. Which is good, as your eyes gonna be too busy be being a bitch in a cage. In this. Yeah, oh, they are every. Yeah, it's hard to and, you know, it pinpoint seems like every one of them. Every franchise movie is doing this, but let's just say it. There's a right way and a wrong way to do it. Yeah. There's references that feel distracting and Wait, what's that? Like, it's a cheap way to show they understand the property when really all they're doing is acknowledging they know it exists. But something yeah, like the but DuckTales I reboot, the Spider-Verse films, and yes, this, shows there's a cleverness, excitement, Look and around, even Lyle. love for building this world. It's cool knowing Mayor Pauline is in this universe. Is that who that is? Little Mac opened a restaurant. Jumpman Punch is this out. world's version of Mario, which was another name for it. Yeah, him. they add that the shit everywhere. jokes and world building tools that make I you want to know more about this environment Coins? rather than distract from it. Even Damn the side scrolling yeah. shtick I thought was a little lame the first time I saw it, but just Easter eggs like all the over. Comparison that running through a battlefield is pretty similar to just getting through New York. Yeah, the 2D part. It, more it kind of grew on me. Hello, Super Mario Brothers. It's Uncle Frank. He says he can play your part if you ever get canceled for some dumb reason. Wait, yeah, what? Just because Pratt is passable doesn't mean I can't fantasize about better choices. The There's always better it, choices. A resident, but the secret life of Cujo causes trouble because they destroyed his. Oh, that looks a little sexual. The fuck? Kill this dog. <laughs> so this is another example of the movie working just well enough. If this was Hell. only them fixing this leak and water going they everywhere, it wouldn't plumbers. be fun. But the addition of this incredibly expressive dog obsessing dog. over their demise adds the right amount to make it pretty humorous. <sighs> it's not hilarious, wow, but it's went fun. Window. It works. Oh, we got him. The job obviously doesn't go well, and we see them go home to emotions. family ashamed. What were you thinking with that commercial? They give an Oscar for worst actors? <laughs> that looks like Luigi's no, dad. The straight. Mario is seen as an Italian stereotype, but nobody had a problem with animated Moonstruck here? <laughs> yeah. Day job. Oops, he the fuck? Did. <laughs> I don't spare them the original script. Literally, it was just an entire page of her going, Hey! Say, the hell that also voices Mario's father, which is again not only a nice intro, He's trying to be Wolverine or somebody. Think he only does Mario's voice to see he can play different roles. You don't leave a steady job for some crazy dream, and the worst part, <laughs> Spaghetti, you bring your brother down with you. Nah, he's just upset because he never became the golf star he always wanted to be. Seriously, you have to stand far back to even know that one. Let's shoot they playing a video game, or Mario Don't you is. you think it's a little weird you're playing, you know. Nah, you want real confusing? Sonic is playing TurboGrafx-16 next <sighs> Yeah, Wait, they, don't, they don't care like, about that part. There's some bad news on the news. A water main first underground today. Flooding Where's your hat? It's Capilli. Somebody save Brooklyn! Luigi! This is our chance! Okay, you so this is a crazy nitpick, but... Mario's human hands without his gloves kind of uh, looks like ugly Sonic's human Now that you teeth. pointed out. I didn't know I'd be horrified by that until I saw it. Thanks. Mario now I have to Luigi. see that shit. He should keep his, his gloves on at all time and his hair. get to that pressure valve. Mama. I don't know, Mario. This feels very teleporty to me. I'm getting the Warriors of Virtue or something worse by I never Daddy. watched Warriors of Virtue. He continues to feed his green fetish, getting sucked into a mysterious green pipe, and taking Mario with him. green pipe, you better, along the way. you know, you know you're going to get teleported. She can help you. Keegan-Michael Key plays Toad. He's... Not this. Here we go! 
Yeah, he's about to say, I, I, that's an improvement over that fucking voice. I'll take anybody's voice instead of. Twist of fate. Not since pocketing spinach have I wanted a bigger reaction, but didn't care. I don't know. Liking green eggs and ham can be an arc. Doctor Seuss. I need to see the princess. I never heard of any princess. Oh wait, I did. Our princess though is in another castle. The thing. He said the thing. Yeah, not all. Yeah. Are good. Yeah, that was terrible. Into a Zelda game for a moment, and we're introduced to Princess Link. Should have made a cameo. She's fine. They don't mind me of She's about as just peach. interesting enough as the rest of the cast. They had to make her going to go power. power. Help us. I will admit, I was a touch concerned the plot And her face is just a little off than what it should as, be. Yes, it is a pain. She always has to be rescued. But then again, that is the trope. Save the princess. It's like one of the Yeah, they didn't stick in. to the original source stuff. material. There are several versions of Mario that play with that trope. <sighs> My favorite being in the old Nintendo Power comics where she's kidnapped, oh, yeah. breaks herself out while Mario breaks himself in, he gets kidnapped, she has to save him, well, I didn't and then save they the both damn get comics. kidnapped, and they have to figure out a way to save each other. That's a fun spin on the idea, and I like how if you really think about it, she she's don't need Mario's training help him if how she to do rescue her later. Okay, that's nothing brilliant, but it's creative enough. Second, <sighs> right. Mario and Luigi grew up with each other. They already have a connection. Oh, their hands are again. An incentive for Mario to save him. It's clear they want a romantic relationship between Mario and Peach. No, and she ain't gonna give him time to die. if they don't spend time together. Fuck. Plus, with Luigi's newer personality being a scaredy cat, that I was think a good this game. works okay. Their mad king doesn't make alliances. The Kongs will never agree. Anyone the who Kongs. doesn't laugh at how seriously that line is delivered does not get why this film is supposed to be funny. <laughs> Mario tells Peach about his missing brother, and because she hasn't seen a human in years, she takes pity on him and invites him Shit. to help out. How am I supposed to do that? With the power. She's taller than him. Give us special abilities. Yeah, I love they don't even try to explain the logic of power-ups or the lore or the backstory. Can you imagine me in that a world? Car for an hour. Everyone knows it's a video game movie. Just be a video game movie. With that said, grew to a job. Stop trying to ruin. I need a hero for me. Shazam. And then play this music. Nobody's gonna top Shrek 2. They own it. Stop trying to top Shrek 2. He does uh, well. I barely remember enough, Shrek 2. And they decide to journey to the Kongs to see if they'll join their battle against Bowser. They're gonna make a sequel to this. You know, you know they why are. Because the in this world, put their faces the ending, on everything. You'll see. You know this is a Mario movie, right? I'm Nintendo's Mickey Mouse. I'm the Cash Cow. I yep, he's definitely the Mickey Mouse, whatever the fuck, of Nintendo. Brave enough to join me. Wow, how has this world not gotten taken over yet? I don't know, it should have been taken over before Mario got there. And yet they're all called Toads? Just yeah, that makes no sense. Else. Is that like when you meet a guy named Guy, you know it's stupid to think about? Toads. Her toads. They should be frogs. We see Luigi as Bowser's oh, he's trapped here. He's announcing his evil bitch. I will ask their princess to marry me. And you got I'll your princess, Luigi. <sighs> It's called Super Mario Bros. Any of us never it should be about Mario and Luigi together. In this. I mean, it's in like every version. But something about Pete seeing should have got kidnapped for the movie first just movie makes it at so least. Much funnier. Of course she hates me. But that makes me love her all the more. Well, you gotta go have sex with another turtle, bitch, so you can have your kids. You know, like Bowser Jr.'s worthless ass really and the rest of them. We motivation until the start of the second act, but uh, it's surprisingly pretty funny. Her heart-shaped bangs. He's gotta have kids in the next movie. Her immovable tiara. And yeah, where are we with this song now? Peaches, peaches, yep, here it is. Peaches, 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 Why did this have to be a thing? Peaches. Well, according to the overplayed song list, we're past the legit goodness of Blame Canada. <laughs> having quite hit the apocalyptic bad annoyance to a of fucking main too. Just a little under the flip-flopping between love and hate of Let It Go. Just under yeah, the it's annoying. annoying. But I think I like it ironically, Rebecca Black's Friday. It's catchy uh, now because everybody's saying it in the fucking videos. Just good enough to make us forget about that weird shit. cameo in Mandalorian. Not bad for a song that's not even a minute long. I know, it's not even... Yeah, one of the biggest that, complaints no effort. of a lot of people, which pages, I guess pages. is a good problem to have, is the film could have been a little longer. I want to fuck you! Every scene I feel like could have benefited from just one more go. minute of screen time. Like we go into Peaches. <sighs> oh, gosh. Okay, you want to put that in my head again, it's going to keep repeating. Backstory, Stop and it. it's not even a minute and a half long. She says she just appeared out of a warp pipe, and the Toads made her their ruler. When I was ready, they Are, are we going to find that why? Which makes it even stranger and she's called princess. There's nobody Where is she really from? I don't think from? people know what the term means anymore. It just sounds pretty. <sighs> Look at this place. Listen to that backstory. We want to enjoy this a little more. And they don't. We waited a long they don't time go to back see to this it. world on the big screen. Have enough confidence in your she's film in a to slow world. down and let us enjoy it. 
Not that Luigi needs any help waiting. See, he's imprisoned with henchmen. Yeah, what they do? Mario Brothers. Back and forth in the wrong direction. No, it should be called yeah, Super Mario Bros. And I know a one and the others one. locked up. I want up. to know more where a character is from. I never saw this thing before, but man, do I want to play Super Mario Galaxy because of him. I've never seen him. So it's a Mario Galaxy. I love this kid. What kind of things does he say in the game? All right, now go. What the hell? So full. Okay, I'll just imagine a Majora's Mask backstory or something. Yeah, there you go. But much better. Let's make it to the Kongs and need a reminder. This is an Illumination movie. <laughs> What the fuck? Come on, man. You know, for the random cast we've had in this movie, I'm surprised the halfway point is when we got our first Pointless Pop song. I know, they I mean, just, at they're adding some modern shit. This is not just modern a guy shit, wearing a sports coat. Oh, pop music hey, look, Mario's wearing, wearing red. Like that bad guy from Eyes Wide Shut. So? What? Wait, what the I hell? I don't know. You... It'll make us a bazillion dollars anyway. <sighs> they take it to their leader, Cranky. Yeah, it's Mario. Played by Fred Armisen. He's... The worst thing in the movie. You're worthy of fighting alongside the greatest. He doesn't army remind me of Cranky. World. Is he supposed to be yeah, older with a cane? Out of all these weird choices, Fred Armisen would be the worst one. I have <sighs> no idea what they're trying to do with this voice. I heard they just hire anybody own. that's a yes, famous actor to play own. the roles, even if they're not good at it. Get someone like Larry David. He would have worked. Was there just not enough crypto offered or something? Oh, Are you two done whispering? It's a little rude. No, that's not it. Or just get somebody that sounds like an old man. What the hell? You want my army so badly? Yeah, I know. That's cringe. He's awful. Yeah, he is. And yeah, I know a guy who screeches for a living is giving this dude a hard time about his voice. Hell, you should have done it. I can't do that screechy voice anymore. Fred Armisen's a lot. I think you could do some of it. So what's his excuse? Lucky for you guys, I got a shortcut. But well, what are you waiting for? That's a money cranky. In the great ring of God. <sighs> oh, so Jar Jar Binks getting choked down by singing Russell Jar Jar's Stroll. a lot worse. Effort went into this suffering. Goddamn effort. <laughs> they agree that if one of them can defeat his son. Prince? Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Again, the royal hierarchy is not really a thing in this movie. He'll hand over his He's going to have his own movie He's one day. Broken. He's... Not Fred Armisen. Hi, Dad. Hi. No, no, Dad, it's back. acceptable. Do you care how he is? All they Over do is play the Donkey 3D Kong rap, and you know you're there. Animated series. What the fuck? It came on. You know, he used to sing all the time. I guess he got the wrong mushroom. Thank you. Is any excuse to give him more lines? Please do. Uh, yeah, it's cringe. He Arthur Fizz and starts beating the crap out of Mario. He beats the Mario fuck gets out of power, Mario. Turning him into... A furry. Meowrio. I don't know. I'm not proud of that one. Uh, I don't like it either. Even though it's in the some of the new games, I don't like it. Just stick with the, the Mario 3. The mark my oh my god, get this suit off! Oh, he was getting to the, the best fuck? part! I'm Where does cat first. come from? Oreo cat. The Kongs join their army and they take their carts <laughs> to Rainbow Road to try to ambush Bowser, who is clearly The Rainbow distracted. Road. Will that looks like Bowser from the other game. Oh, yeah. oh my god. I knew those two were a couple. Okay, I love how the Koopa Wizard is angry too. Like he was really getting into that. Like, yeah, don't he was you know enjoying I'm it. Way too somebody's much, fiction to life. Cody. Oh, they think they can surprise me, huh? <sighs> you can play at that game. Bowser sends his forces to Rainbow Road, and this is hands down the coolest part of the movie. Twisted Metal on the Rainbow Road. <laughs> Shit. We all know Betsy Buns Again, loves the Rainbow Road. How many people played Mario Kart and imagined an action sequence like this on the big screen? It has well, we just gotta see Sweet Tooth on there and, you know, it's like Mad Max Road Kill, Rush. Minion. Aha! I oh, activated yeah. the anti-gravity converter. Oh, you don't care. Just hear me say wow. <laughs> We're giving the Fox news the logo during Pride Month as one of the drivers goes Koopa Kazi and blue shells himself into Mario and Donkey Kong. <laughs> Yo, Quick, use too the game, the ocean. Princess there, there Peach. Bowser confesses his love to her while also threatening Toad if she doesn't marry him. I don't like those eyes he's making. Ah! No! Uh, toad is getting oh, off. Oh, oh, sorry, uh, just don't hurt my toads. And that's the bravest Toad they got. Why were there even guards in this kingdom? I, know, I mean, the weapon useless. of choice is frying pans half the time. Shouldn't that be their enemy? She's, <laughs> she's dressed as a warrior now. Give her spear. Oh yeah, there's a brother in this Mario Brothers movie. 
Okay, yeah, bye. everybody forgot about them. Mario and Donkey Mario Kong Brothers. not getting along, but bonding over their disapproving fathers. It should have been called The Adventures of Mario and Peach. Well, Featuring Luigi in a cage as a bitch. Yeah, this is the one time I don't really mind the movie being that short. Really. Huh. Do you want to hear these guys talking about their dads, or do you want them to give you a no, Smash yeah. Brothers opening? It's got potential, but it's just an opening for a bunch of other stuff. In the game. It's a movie, but ah, it's a movie that, that knows its no. audience, and the and audience wants it to Mario be like first. the Not that Mario first. I'm talking about the expecting first, father the, issues. the it's brown the leaf. It's the fun of the games in the form of a movie. We need a platform <sighs> just to get us from point A to point B. Moments like this are yeah. those moving platforms just to get you to what you really want to focus on, the colorful action. I'm sure a lot of people love that, this. It does it well. Newer you, generations, Prince. older generation. Destroy the Mushroom Kingdom! Damn, Damn Bowser's fucked. Probably has one too uh, many slow-mo shots. Late 2000s Zack Snyder called. He asked if this guy can be trusted. And everyone gets warped back there to you New go. York. Bowser's in that world. <laughs> This is Donkey Kong and Peach should have teamed up by themselves before Honestly, Mario showed I up. I kind of forgot how similar some of these beats were to the 93 version. Don't but tell again, me they actually caught It is a movie, them. and they want to give these two a way of proving themselves to their family, so... Mario gets really a little spotlight at the very end. Family can watch. Shit. That fire, man. I don't man. need a mansion to be brave! What? You want a mansion? He's not no, first mansion like, games. Yeah, actually, can I get that? Which was actually great. They'll get the star and use their newfound power to defeat Bowser. Yeah, they become super. They don't I'll run out that fast either. Taking the shrooms would cause me to see a glow like that. No, it's the star. They take out the henchmen and Bowser is shrunk down after being fed the blue mushroom. Yeah, how are you going to escape that? The Super Mario Brothers! <laughs> he said the thing. Yep. Again. Do they really need to keep justifying this title? It's so Super it's Mario Brothers, man. Of their Brooklyn family and all of the city of New York, they of course moved to the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> the only reason to stay there is get some of that peach oh, pool. There's more. But she ain't gonna give it up to Mario. Kinda ruined earlier because we already saw the Yoshi's, but whatever. Yoshi! Yeah, I knew he was gonna say Still that. Still scary that sequel to this being promised. And that was the Super Mario. <laughs> yeah, that movie Brothers sucked. Movie. Fun in all Especially the ways the we want ending. Fun and serviceable in all the ways we don't mind it being serviceable. It's sure. rare we get a video game movie Most that really game. allows us to embrace the world we enjoy playing for so many years. No, I had a lot and more than the next more one, I'm sure. That's told in such a likable manner. Not the way about it's five clear, years from the next Mario deep movie, story though. With deep characters, but it brings to life that world we all used to go to as kids. Mario Kart, the world you other games they added, with your toys, or colorful drawings, or yes, played a video game. Super Smash Brothers parts. Without being insulted. Now make now, other middle, stuff. When they do a sequel, Legend of Zelda. I, yeah, that'd That's be a badass show. Characters probably need to be up. Be more for this adult, a more for adult now, audience. But we do want it to grow and evolve. Shit. Not a ton, what but else? still a little bit. Metroid. Well, no doubt be missteps along the way, just like the Even though I never play the games. As long as they represent the same excitement and joy the makers clearly had yeah, in it's making this that other movie, and translating that to audiences who have the same excitement and well, joy. Well, that's how you do a real Mario movie. Down for finding the princess in another castle. Yeah, she'll be kidnapped maybe in the next one, hopefully, instead of Luigi. Here, guy, remember it, so you don't have to. Okay, so there you go, everyone. If y'all want to watch the original video, the link is in the description. Go check it out and shit. I'm getting the fuck out here, so yeah. My name is Billy Bob Tanley, and I approve this message.